Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Crafty Cody here. Welcome to another game development video. So today, so today, uh, we will create uh, how we will go to the next scene. So, uh, with the further ado, let's get started. So, first of all, you need to create some scenes and how we should do that. How we are creating some new scenes. Now, first, let's go back to my world scene. Let's delete that and delete that. Go. Oh god, okay. No, 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 no. What the heck I'm doing? What the heck I'm doing? Right click, delete, and. S yeah, there you go. So you have world, our basic world. Now, how we'll go to the next scene, right? First, we'll go to scene, then we'll click on save scene as world 2. And world 3, world 4, world 5, and so on and so forth. So now we will add. Uh, some things that we will collide and then we can go to the next scene, right? So we will add a uh, Area 2D with the sprite of this so you can find that by going to assets base fact and go to the Item section so you'll go down And we have flag blue flag one or whatever. Let's change that to this. So that looks much much better. Okay so we have our level right so now what we'll do is go to the next scene so we'll go back we have our uh where is it where is it there you go we got our scenes right so we'll click on the next scene and we'll add a script so hopefully you know how to add a script now we'll copy and paste or i will explain what is going on First of all, uh, let's uh, look at this line of code. You all know what this code does. It says extends area 2D. So what type of data you are pass passing in, for example, area 2D. So for now we'll uh, we'll we think this line of code. What does this line mean? So we'll, it, first it says export. What does export does? Export is actually uh, you can edit that value in the inspector view, like here. You can edit that value here. So what uh, now? What type data is it? It's a string. We will pass it like a string. It's not a string, but we will pass it like a string. Uh, why? You'll know that a little bit later. Now, string. What is a file? It is a file. We are holding a file. We are holding a world scene. So that's a file type. So you can say, hey, is this a txt file? A um, any type of word file or any type of file what type of file is it it's a .tstn file it's uh, our word scene so whatever the value it has okay store it in world scene whatever the value it has store it in the world scene so that's what basically it means so let's see re recap export means you can edit it anywhere string means it's a data type we're passing like a data type so uh, it will it will be stored in the world scene like a string it's a file uh, it's a .tscn file so that the data done so you know function process every single frame of the game will first get the bodies so first we'll get the get overlapping body function now what is this and why is it important now bodies it means a body variable is a variable right which stores how many instances how many uh, nodes how many uh, areas or kind of kinematic bodies are overlapping it means on top of each other uh, like you know collision detection systems uh, they are uh, get, getting two uh, individual objects and they're colliding or they're above uh, one of each other that's the collision detection right so uh, we will store that value in the get overlapping body function bodies function we'll store that next is a for each loop now why is it important what why are you doing that now for each loop will loop through every single body and find the player body if there is a player body there because we, we have like one for player body one for enemy one for um, any instance 
that's why why you're using the if statement we can add much deeper or much more lines of code using elif and more stuff here you can use the body name equals to player body so whatever so for body in bodies it means you can you can replace the body with x y z or whatever you have to just make sure this name and that this name is same so it's looping through each and every body and finding the player so if the body that name is player so after looping every single body if the body that name is player body then we'll ch go to the next scene now change scene right change scene only accepts string change scene only accepts string that's why we, we are passing with the string you got it nice okay so we're done we're done here let's go back and we'll, uh, we have added all the scripts so let's go back and go to the uh, script variables it will be in the up we'll first we'll reset that so it's a word scene we'll click here go to file well, two dot psn. Wait a minute. Um. Yeah, yeah. Same, 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 same. Oh my God. Save and close. What? Cancel. Okay. Same thing here. We'll replace that with the world. Okay, go to the world. Make sure you are in the world, the first one. I just messed up a little bit. Go to the world and go to the area. We'll click here, file world2.tsn. World, world2. So let's check out. So remember, this thing is only been there. Uh, yes this thing this spike is only in the uh, world scene not in the world too right so let's check it out if this works or not so so yeah that's how to go to the next scene so if you want to repeat the process repeat it how much and however you want so thank you guys so much for watching, I'm gonna see you in the next video.